What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've got another video today. And no, it's not pond hopping or it's not anything to do with Virginia area at all. I went ahead and snuck off down to Florida. Do some fishing in Florida. I don't know if, I mean, some of y'all may know. Last year I put out a, uh, what was it? A mangrove snapper catch and cook off of a Florida jetty. It was it was a fun, fun time, great time. But yeah, I, 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 I did it again. Well, not not snapper. Snuck down to Florida. But at any rate, the day before I went to Florida, Cameron and I went out, did some shad fishing on the James. All right, it wasn't on his cast, but I'm gonna let him reel it in. Oh. All right, flip him up. <laughs> Jesus, boy, what the heck are you trying to do? I don't know. All right, nice. Now you gotta catch one on your own. <laughs> okay. Got all packed up, hit the airport, said bye to the fam. <laughs> Did a little bit of flying. And then boom, I'm at Florida. So this time of the year in Florida where we were going, which is kind of like the Fort Walton, Pensacola, uh, Destin, I guess, area, panhandle. You got the Cobia, you got the Kings, you could show up at any time. There's a couple people that were hooking into them. Not while I was there, but they were so i mean they're getting there but they do like every year first one to catch the king first one to catch kobe gets a year-long pass to the pier i'm not really sure how much that would benefit me from living in virginia but i mean i would definitely take it because I'm, I'm i'm definitely definitely going back a lot as much as i can that's what we do when we go to florida is we do hunt the big fish or try to off the piers but long story short we didn't see anything i mean everything's sight cast out but we didn't see anything. We did see some huge jacks, which was really cool. Like I've never really seen them from that vantage point, just tearing through the water like that. It was really cool. We did get to throw at those, didn't catch any. But even though we didn't catch anything, I mean, it was still a damn good time because you know, the people we were with were awesome. Uh, and uh, beer, <laughs> drank plenty of beer. When the fishing sucks, beer helps, beer helps. When we don't get our target species you know obviously i'm not gonna make a video of us just looking for fish but we always have a backup plan we always have a backup plan to be able to fill the cooler with some sort of fish to eat this is how our backup plan went to catch fish whatever you know what i'm saying so we got the first order of business which is going to catch bait this is the money bait for sheep's head and pompano so what we're looking for is like it, look at the hole. is that a good example of one Get a hole. and then he sticks that hoo-ha dangle on there and spits it out right there. then old jeffrey's supposed to grab him with the here i'll put him in there yes that is what we want Ghost shrimp, right? Right? Ghost shrimp. That's the bait. So they can be free walking too? Or they don't? So that one that you just saw, that was one that you sucked out from? Oh, there he is. Right there. Nice. Oh, it's just hit your t yeah, he hit your foot. Oh, there are two of them. Hell yeah. So you said that yesterday the water was a lot dirtier, right? Yeah, it looks, I mean, obviously I'm from Virginia, but this water looks amazing. They just look like little ant hills. Like those guys right there. Right there. At the hole. Is 
sometimes it's so deep they'll barely get pulled to the surface and you think you got him out there and he's not out there. That thing just looks crazy to me. That is really ugly little dude. We've been at this for maybe five or ten minutes. Let me see Jeff. Oh yeah, she's getting there. Eh. So today we are at Fort Pickens, Pensacola area, and it's just a small little pier, but we got these cement pylons, just a big box out there. And we're just gonna drop the uh, ghost shrimp down right beside the pond and see if we can pick off a few sheep's head. We were pompano fishing at Okaloosa yesterday. It was a bust, so long story short, we didn't catch nothing. We did see like two 15 to 16 inch pompanoes caught yesterday, which was awesome. Just all sorts of structure, you know, over here. I'm sure we can cast over there and then work all the pylons on the on the bridge. So hopefully we can get one or two sheep's heads. Let's go ahead and go rig up. We'll go put a Chong Che jig on and drop it down on these guys and see what we can do. Crazy because of the weather out here, it's uh, requiring me to wear a hoodie. So a little bit, cooler out a little bit of wind hopefully a lot of fish goodness gracious talk about the packed pier I like to have that in my stomach man I like to have that in my stomach man <laughs> ghost crab, ghost, uh, ghost shrimp. Got his ass. One. I can flip them. I gotta flip your way though. Oh shit. Take them out with my hand. But... We both did. No, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I can give it a go if you want me to, man. That's up to you. Yeah. Hey. 
you go, Ronnie. I don't know if I'm flipping him. Does somebody happen to have a net I can use? I'm ready. Oh shit. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Hey, thanks, man. Ghost shrimp. Dead shrimp? Ghost shrimp. Oh, okay. Ghost, the ghost shrimp. The shit you pull out the sand with the tubes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Color's looking good. Sweet. Hell yeah. That's probably my PB for yeah. a sheep's head. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right. Got one. The big girl. Not as big of a girl. That's a seven pound. Three. I got five fish. Maybe we had six fish. That's only five. That's only five. That's all right. Let's work for us. Hell yeah. Not a bad little collection. So yeah, I mean, that's that's really how it went. It was awesome time. I mean, the pier, if you're familiar with like the Virginia piers, it was like a fraction of Sandbridge, which is already a pretty short pier. But going into it, we did we had no idea that like, well, I had no idea that, although it was a small pier, not 20 feet out from the shore like it's just a huge drop off like you can see it in the video when i'm dropping the line down it just keeps going and going and going but this is this is one of those times where you know everybody's either free lining shrimp crabs whatever or using carolina rigs and nobody was really catching much but you know I, I was you know watching everything that was going around and trying to work my way to the end eventually and i you know i was like i'm gonna fish a chong jig which is just you know a bottom sweeper jig um i'll link them below you need to get some of those but i'm telling you like every drop like i was getting bite i don't know why like we would see the sheep's head cruising on top which was awesome but i, I was fishing all the way at the ground so next thing you know is uh i, I you know gave my buddy ronnie a jig and he started catching them and it was it was it was interesting i couldn't get jeff to switch to a jig he is he just something about him and the carolina rigs but i got you this time jeff i caught more fish but no for real, that's the video that was it it was a great time uh i got sunburned i think i had a cold either that or i was just really allergic to ronnie's cats but either way great time um big shout out to ronnie and his family for having us there somebody's calling hang on
Oh, it's Charlie. Big shout out to Ronnie. Big shout out to everybody at the pier that was teaching me things. It's just, it's, it's a completely different animal with the piers in Florida. It really is, it's awesome. We did really well considering we had three people using, or pulling from the same bait of, pulling from the same bait. Pulling from the same bucket of bait. We made the bait last a few hours, so I mean, Considering how many fish we caught in the limited time that we had, I mean, we did pretty good. Um, there was people there all day that really weren't catching much. I saw a couple people had like one or two of them, but I mean, we did good. We did good. If you look in the video like pretty closely, like when I'm catching one of them, like the, the some of the people's faces when they're, you know, when I flip them over the rail, they're just like salty, salty. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. More Florida content to come. I think the next time we're going is june or july or something like that but anyway i appreciate you guys watching thank you for the support welcome to all my new supporters i'm gonna probably be hitting the river here either today or tomorrow but more of that content to come but i will catch you guys next time later